Hey guys and welcome to a new video. In this video I'll be covering the all new archaeology relic power called bait and switch which allows you to catch cooked fish. When you're ready grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. First of all, this relic has very steep requirements. It has a requirement of level 99 archaeology. I'm not entirely sure if this can be boosted to by using the archaeology potion or the archaeology tea. Either way, level 99 archaeology is a steep requirement. You also require a cat speak amulet to get the item you need to get the relic. In addition to that, you require a cat speak amulet which is obtained from the Ixtralin's Little Helper quest. And if you don't have the cat speak amulet anymore or the enchanted version, you'll need to get it back back by using a kitten which is obtained from Gertrude's cat quest because you can't reclaim this item from the quest point shop chest. If you no longer have a kitten like I do you have to go to Gertrude and buy yourself or get yourself a new kitten. She's located in Varrock as you can see. The reason you need the kitten is because you're going to talk to the Sphinx in Sophonem and he or she won't talk to you unless you have a kitten out. So yeah, once you have the kitten you want to drop it which is basically summoning the kitten, then teleport to Sophonem using a Sophonem Slayer Dungeon Teleport or walk there from Menaforce. The reason I use the Slayer Dungeon Teleport is because it's cheap and easy. You can see the location of the Sphinx on screen by the way. Once you're talking to the Sphinx, be sure to choose the second chat option when you get the set of options being do you have a spare amulet of cat speak. After you've acquired this amulet, all you need to do is get a death mask from the level 99 archaeology location at the Orvin dig site and restore this artifact. Now all you need to do is locate Bob the Cat, which is an NPC that teleports around Gilanor. You can locate him using the Enchanted Cat Speak Amulet if you've done the quests, but otherwise you want to hop worlds in the rune shop in Burfrope, this building as you can see on screen. Talk to Bob the Cat and choose the Yes option to give him the Death Mask. He will then give you an item called Evil Bob's Cat's Paw. You can use this item, which is a relic, on the mysterious monolith at the Varrock dig site. Congratulations, you have now unlocked the Bait and Switch Relic Power. Remember that switching relics will cost you Chronotes. Okay, so what does the bait and switch relic do? The bait and switch relic allows you to catch cooked fish and you gain 50% of the experience you would have gained if you cooked the fish normally. This relic, however, does not work on any type of fish that isn't directly cooked on a bonfire, giving you a cooked version of that fish. Examples are the leaping trouts, which you can slice for experience, or the fish from the Ark like Wobblegum or Searfish, which are turned into oil. All of the other fish on this list that have an experience amount set there should work. Maybe there's some kind of exception when you're doing a quest, but as far as I'm concerned, all of these fish listed here work. Another thing you might be wondering is does this relic work with divine locations like a rocktail bubble? And no, it does not. I tested this. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be that way and if it's intended or not but I assume they had a reason for doing this. Currently, as of making this video, it does not work on divine locations. Now you might be wondering, does it work with the shark outfits consume option? And yes, it actually does. If you use the consume option, you eat the fish, but you're still eating the cooked fish. You're still getting that 50% cooking experience, which is great. Meaning you can still AFK Menophos if you wanted to and get that cooking and fishing experience while not gaining any things in your inventory and not having to use porters to bank the cooked fish. Okay, but why would you use this relic? Well, if you're an Ironman account, this makes a lot of sense as it's going to be saving you a world of time by cooking fish. You're catching the fish and you're cooking it automatically, basically meaning you will never ever need to cook fish on a fire again separately. For main accounts, however, the only real use of this relic is maybe training cooking at the same time, but if you're curious on how good the experience is, I will have to disappoint you. The experience you gain is really low because the amount of fish you catch per hour is also fairly low. Now in the clips you're seeing, you may see me have both bonus fishing and cooking experience, but do not worry as I just have the values to get a more accurate representation of the experience per hour. So the base experience for swarm fishing and fishing selfish was around 30 to 35,000 cooking experience per hour, which is uh, very unimpressive. 
For main accounts, if you have nothing to do and you'd rather fish your own food, like sailfish, as you can catch around 250 or more per hour if you're using the outfit, juju, and so on, you can do this instead of AFK money making with Slayer if you just want to fish your own fish. It doesn't really make sense to do because you could just AFK Slayer, make money, and buy way more sailfish. But if you ever feel like doing something completely AFK and free of cost, you can go ahead and fish yourself some sailfish AFK. Now the fastest way to train fishing and cooking at the same time is by doing manifold fishing because the fish give a lot of cooking experience and the amount of catches you get per hour is way higher than swarm or selfish fishing. You can get up to 100,000 cooking experience per hour by fishing in manifold at level 99 using the shark outfit and a juju potion. So in terms of the experience rate overall, I'm going to say 15 to up to 100,000 cooking experience per hour, depending on what fish you're fishing. However, the majority of people using this relic will have 99 fishing, so it would probably be 30 to 100k experience per hour because you won't be doing lower tier fish. It doesn't make that much sense. So, overall, I think this relic is a cool addition to the game, more useful for Iron Man accounts than for main accounts, which is also a good thing, I think, because a lot of people do play Iron Man mode in RuneScape 3. They like being self-sufficient and stuff like that. I don't know why they didn't give this relic the same treatment as the Always Adds relic, which does give you 100% of the experience of the burned log when you're chopping woodcutting. To put it simply, it burns the logs you chop with woodcutting and it only requires level 83 archaeology. This relic requires level 99 and only gives you 50% of the experience gained. Considering the overall experience rates, I don't really understand why they went for 50% cooking experience because even with 100%, it still wouldn't be that good with the majority of the fishing methods. Oh well. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting as we have come to the end. If you did, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.